So hi everyone. Uh, so I'm going to do the last uh, presentation today. Um, and first, I want to thank all the, the speakers because I think we we had a lot of uh, very interesting content today. Uh, so in my presentation, I want to talk about uh, like doing do an update on uh, our view of the uh, Ada community. Talk about the uh, Alayor package manager. Um, and uh, one of obvious uh, thing we I want to mention is uh, our uh, announcement from uh, uh, two uh, two weeks ago um, about the end of the GNAT Community Edition, uh, so which was a, uh, a release of our tool chain and IDE and some other tools that we did uh, every year for the last uh, uh, decade or so. Um, and so obviously, uh, this is a big, uh, this is a big announcement. This is a big change, uh, and especially for uh, for you, uh, GAP members. Uh, and so I want to take the time to uh, to come back to this and explain uh, a little bit more what we, what we, uh, what we have in mind here. Uh, so we there, we had several issues, let's say, with the the GNAT uh, community editions. Uh, in particular, we thought that the uh, ADA ecosystem was, was a bit weird and a bit complex with uh, too many different versions. Uh, so with this change, we want to come back to a situation uh, where there are only two uh, versions of GNAT. There's the pro version that is provided and supported by ADA Core for commercial and industrial projects. And there is the GNAT uh, FSF version. So we call it FSF because uh, that's the version that's contributed to uh, the official uh, GCC repository from the Free Software Foundation. So FSF is Free Software Foundation. Uh, and this one is provided by uh, various uh, actors in the, in the community, uh, and, uh, and especially for uh, open source projects, uh, research, uh, um, teaching, so on and so forth. Um, we also uh, wanted to make things more clear with regards to the license uh, because the GNAT Community Edition was released under um, a different license than the other GNAT uh, releases. Um, in particular, so the, the, the ADA runtimes were uh, using a pure GPL uh, uh, license. Uh, this caused uh, a lot of issues uh, and, and I would say mostly a lot of misunderstanding. Um, and uh, the, the result is that the ADA technology started to grow a bad reputation uh, with regards to the licensing and so on. Uh, and we, we, we realized that um, many times uh, newcomers who would get introduced to ADA and Spark uh, with a, a, a kind of a legal licensing discussion, uh, which is obviously uh, a very bad, uh, you know, first uh, introduction, first contact with uh, with technology. So, uh, with this change, we are also trying to improve the situation here. Uh, there are no more releases of GNAT with a pure GPL runtime, and so uh, that's something we can, um, you know, uh, be clear about now and uh, uh, hopefully move on to uh, talk about you know, the technology and, and why the technology uh, is great. Um, and so one, uh, one thing that was really, uh, really, really important for us is that we, we wanted to, we, we didn't want to just remove that community and, and, and that's it. Uh, we of course want everyone to still be able to do um, everything they did with that community. Uh, this is not Ada Core, you know, uh, giving up on on uh, on community users and so on. Uh, in fact, it's probably quite the opposite. <coughs> and so, uh, a few years ago, we found out about the uh, uh, Alayer package manager that was that is developed by uh, Alejandro Mosteo, and we thought this would be a, a great tool to replace. Uh, uh, a GNAT community. And so now that Alayar, we think, is, is really uh, becoming a, 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 an important project, uh, we think we can now, it's, it's the time where we can uh, actually uh, remove GNAT community. And we encourage all GNAT community users to transition to Alayar. And I will come back to that. 
Uh, and what's important for us is that everything you can do with Napier Unity, uh, you can do with Alaya. And actually, you can, you can even do more, more things. Um, <clears throat> If you want, so we have a we have a blog post announcing this change. If you want to to have a, a more information, um, something important for us as well. Uh, we want to say that the the Gnat Academic Program uh, is uh, is one of the really uh, key uh, um, parts of our engagement with the with the community. Uh, that's something we want to uh, to to really um, emphasize on. Uh, you still have access as GAP members to the Adacor support through Net Tracker, uh, and this is very important. And in particular, for the migration out of Net community, uh, don't hesitate to ask us questions uh, in the future. You also get uh, frequent updates on Adacor technology through uh, newsletters. And we wanted to also to work on having uh, more added value for the for the GAP uh, for the Net Academic program. And so there are two things that we are starting. Uh, and uh, please ask uh, JC for more details on those. But we're starting a uh, new LinkedIn group that is private for the moment. Uh, we'll see if that stays uh, the same in the future. But the idea is to uh, make a connection between uh, GAP members and, and, and their students and our uh, Adacore customers looking for uh, talented engineers. Uh, this is a request we got from both sides. Uh, our customers are looking for, for uh, new engineers. Uh, our uh, GAP members are, are looking for um, jobs for the students, obviously. And so we, we're, we're starting this. We want to make the connection and we want to make it happen. And uh, obviously, today we are in the GAP workshop, uh, which is also a new, a new event we're starting because we want uh, GAP members to be able to share um, information and, and success stories about uh, using and data spark for for teaching or research okay so <clears throat> going back to alayer because uh, as i said we we now recommend every ignat community users to transition to alayer so i think it's important to uh, explain uh, uh, why we think alayer uh, is great um, so alayer is a source based package manager for eden spark uh, there are two main goals here. Uh, the first is to be able to easily build upon a person's source project shared by the community. So you can easily uh, uh, get and reuse uh, software that's provided by others. But you can also easily share your project for others to build upon. And that's that's the, the basic uh, concept of the, of the source-based package manager. For us, it's really a game changer for the uh, Ada and Spark open source ecosystem uh, because we feel that uh, Ada never reached its full potential in the, in the open source uh, domain. Uh, and with this tool, which is really a key uh, element in, in co collaboration, uh, we hope to uh, increase that uh, uh, ecosystem and the engagement and the collaboration and so on. And so that's why. Uh, Adacar is sponsoring and contributing to the uh, Alayer project uh, since uh, uh, a couple of years ago. Um, <clears throat> just an overview of what's, uh, I, I mean, not, not looking at all the details, but we have more than uh, 250 projects uh, which are called crates in the uh, Alayer vocabulary. Uh, and so this is just a snippet of the, uh, just an overview of the uh, Alayer galaxy. You can see that there are uh, uh, quite a few projects available, and that I think that's what's really interesting here is the link between the different projects it means people are collaborating, people are uh, uh, working with each other to to build the ecosystem, and I think that's that's really interesting. Um, so for the few uh, minutes I have left, I'm going to talk about transitioning out of Net Community. If you go to the to the, the announcement blog post I mentioned earlier, there's a link to a, a web page that will help you transition from uh, Gnat Community to Alayer or something else. And I'm going to summarize that here. So the first solution is to use Alayer. That's what we recommend. Um, Alayer will provide the compiler and the debugger for uh, uh, Linux, Windows, and I forgot to mention, but there's Mac OS as well. It will provide cross-compiler for ARM 
oh sorry for arm and risk five so that that covers what what was available in the net community and on top of that we also support uh, mac os native and uh, avr cross compilers so that's that's uh, what i was saying you can do uh, everything you could do with uh, the net community and more because now we have mac os and uh, avr uh, Spark, so the GNAT proof tool is also provided uh, by Alayer. The version is synchronized with the GNAT FSF release. So uh, the, the, the Spark front end uh, is actually coming from the GNAT. And so now the two tools are synchronized uh, uh, between uh, each other. For the IDEs, uh, there is now a special release of the GNAT Studio available in the in the GitHub repository. So you have the, the link here. Uh, and we will do uh, probably at least one release per year, maybe more, uh, that you can download uh, from here. Uh, as of today, uh, Alayer will not download and install um, GNAT Studio, uh, unlike for the other tools. But maybe that's something we can do in, in the future. We will see. And for the libraries that you are uh, used to get from uh, GNAT community, well, that's uh, exactly what LIR is designed to do. So with LIR, you can declare a dependency on the GNAT call, XML data, leave it along, and so on. Uh, and you will get and build them uh, automatically. Now, there are other ways to uh, replace uh, GNAT community. Um, so all the all the tools, the compilers, the debuggers I mentioned um, are built from the GNAT FSF uh, sources, uh, and everything is built from uh, GitHub. So the binaries are available on GitHub. We have the link here. So if you want, if you really don't want to use the uh, Alayer workflow, you can just download the the binaries. These are just archives. Uh, you uncompress them and you use them like you used to with uh, with the uh, GNAT uh, community. Uh, so it's doable. I would not recommend it because it's going to be a, a bit more difficult to do than using a layer. And also, of course, you don't benefit from all the, the nice thing in, uh, in, in a layer. But that's an option. Um, and the last option is to uh, use the, the system distributions uh, like uh, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and so on. Uh, right now, uh, Ada, I mean, the GNAT compiler is not uh, available necessarily everywhere. So on Debian Ubuntu, the support is quite good. Uh, on Arch Linux, you can have the, the compiler and, and GPR build. Um, MCS2, which is a uh, some, some kind of a Seguin uh, package manager for, uh, for Windows, uh, also has um, uh, GNAT FSF which they call GCC ADA and GPR build. Uh, so that's also an option available if you want to go that way. Uh, right now, you don't have uh, access to GNAT Studio, for instance, through, through those uh, kind of systems. Uh, but you can still download the one from GitHub, and that will work as well. Um, so a couple of uh, Alayer uh, examples, uh, just to give you an idea. Um, so about the toolchain, um, Alaya will let you select the default toolchain for your uh, project uh, if nothing is specified in the dependencies. Uh, so with, with this command here, Alaya toolchain dash dash select, uh, you can select which version do you prefer as, as the default one. Uh, if you want to, uh, Alaya provides a NatFSF toolchain, but you are not uh, restricted to that toolchain. You can also use uh, the one uh, available in your system. That's the, the, third, the, the third choice here. Uh, and so you're not locked into using uh, what's provided by Alayer. Uh, you, can, you can use your own if you want. Um, just a basic example, how to get and run a project that is available in the Alayer uh, ecosystem. Basic command, Alayer get hello. Uh, this will download the sources of the uh, hello project and also the dependencies of that project. So we have a uh, lib hello dependency that we, that we see here. Uh, obviously, this is just a, a basic uh, project uh, to, to demo. But um, uh, once the, the sources are downloaded, you, you go uh, into the, the, the directory. So uh, hello 1.0, etc. You run alayer build to compile your 
project and allow your run to run it. And uh, that's just as simple as that. Now, uh, to start a new project, uh, you can do uh, allayer init dash dash lib to create a new library or allayer init dash dash uh, bin to create an application, uh, binary, uh, executable, etc. Um, this will create all, all the files you need for your, um, for your uh, allayer project. Uh, and in fact, if you are uh, converting uh, an existing uh, GNAT community project to a layer. That's also uh, one way to do it. Uh, you generate with a layer in it, and then you move the sources uh, in the in the new uh, a layer project. Uh, that's that's one of the uh, options. Uh, in the a layer documentation, we have more information on how to transition an existing project to an, an a layer project. Um, once the, the, the project is here, uh, we can go into the, the directory and to add the dependency, for instance, on libadalang, uh, it's, it's as simple as the running a layer with and the dependency that we want to add, uh, so libadalang in this case. Um, one, uh, something that's a bit special with, uh, with a layer at the moment, uh, uh, so, if you want to edit your project with GNAT Studio, we have this uh, Allayer edit uh, command uh, that will look for GNAT Studio in your uh, installation and, and run it. Uh, once you do that, uh, you are in your familiar GNAT Studio environment and you just, you don't have to care about uh, Allayer at all, you just program like you used to, there is no difference. Um, one thing to keep in mind, uh, if you change, uh, for instance, if you change your Allayer projects, if you add dependency or remove dependency, you will have to restart uh, GNAT Studio. So if you want to do that, you first quit GNAT Studio, you add your dependency, and then you run uh, Allayer edit uh, again. Um, that's all I wanted to cover today. And since we have a, a Q&A session, uh, if you have questions, uh, let us know. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.